So what's up YouTube man? So today basically what I'll be talking about is you know focus on becoming your best self. So like I said, you know, I just posted another video the video before this and it was a be happy. Yeah, it was the be happy video. So this is gonna be the focus. This is gonna be the focus on yourself. Become your focus on becoming your best self. You know what I'm saying? So look, we're gonna get into first off. You got to stop caring about what people say. You'll never make it if you care about someone else's opinion. I know you're going to care about your, you know, the people around you that's closest to you, their opinion, how they feel about what you're doing or, you know what I'm saying? You're going to care and it's, it will affect you. Um, their responses will, will affect you, whether you like it or not, because um, you care about those people. So it's a little different, but you can't let them steer you. I was seeing a video one time where a guy, you know, he seemed like a hump. He seemed like he deserved so much more in life. And he was talking about how basically, you know, now he's not, he, he's not where he should be. But he was like, my, my, my mom told me one time that I would never, he told her, he told his mom about his dreams or whatever he wanted to do. I forgot what he wanted to do. I don't know if it was an astronaut or what. And he said his mom told him that that's not just, that's not, people on an everyday basis like us don't get that, you know. So she shattered his dreams and it was you know, and he ended up becoming everything that he said that she had said to him that he would be, would become and what he should do. And he listened to her and let her affect, you know what I'm saying, the way his life turned out. And which is very unfortunate because he could have been probably the best astronaut. You know what I'm saying? You never even know. Like, we don't know, man. And it's just, she killed his dreams right there. And I'm, I want to stop that. You know what I'm saying? I want, I don't want nobody's dreams to be killed. I want everyone to make their dreams come true. You know what I'm saying? Because... It's possible, you know, it's not hard. There's nothing in this life that's impossible. Like God said in the Bible, we can move mountains with our mind, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? It's just how far you'll take it. <clears throat> Second, work now, work hard, play later, you know what I'm saying? Work hard, you know what I'm saying? And play later. It's, it's simple. I mean, think for your future, you know what I'm saying? Don't be sitting here, like, you can go to parties and stuff, you know, you want to be partying, you're in high school, you're young, I understand it, but you know what I'm saying? Me, I never did that stuff, because I was, first off, I wasn't interested, if I was interested in a party, I would have been there, you know, but I had a girlfriend, and then, you know, it was, it would be other girls there, and I would have been tempted, and, you know what I'm saying, I don't know myself enough to, to know if I would, you know, if, if I could hold myself, which I do, but it's like, you never know. You know, if it's just there, hand it to you, you never know. A lot of people say what they wouldn't do until situations come about. So I don't even, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say, well, I know I can go there because my willpower was this strong. No, I don't really know. So I'm not going to say that. But like I said, man, work hard, play, you know what I'm saying? Play later, man. Like, think for the future. This is, you have so much more, you know what I'm saying, that you can do with your life. In your young years, you can be grinding. You can make as much mistakes as you want right now, which is what I'm doing. I'm making a lot of mistakes. I've had so many YouTube channels, different YouTube channels, you know what I'm saying, that I'm trying to, that I've been trying to come up about. And you know what I'm saying, I'm eventually going to find one. Keep working hard. Like, don't, don't try to play now. And then you get 20, 25, 26, and you're like, holy fuck. I, I don't know what I'm doing in my life. You, that you could have been doing, you know, you could have been trying to start your life around 15, 16, 14, 14, 15, and you could have been somewhere. Now you're 20. Now you get a kid, so that sets you back five more years. And it's like, because every kid sets you back five years that you have. I've read that somewhere, but I forgot where I read it from. And it's just, it's crazy. Like, guys, this is real life. You know what I'm saying? Once you get 22, 23, 24, and you haven't been, you haven't got, you're not even on starting to get something. Like, you're not even on that journey, on that road already to your success, to your, you know what I'm saying? It's, you're going to be scared and it's going to put more pressure on you. You're going to be scared. You're going to be more stressed and you could easily lose your dreams. You could easily be like, wow, this job I'm working at right now at TJ Maxx or this job right now at Walmart is, is sustaining me. It's sustaining my bills. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's keeping me, you know, going, it's keeping me, you know what I'm saying? Good and safe. Like I know for sure I get a check every two weeks, you know? So it's like, why would I leave? Why would I try to go chase my dreams? I don't have enough space to chase my dreams. But as a kid, you did. And you just, you didn't do it. So, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, that was work hard, work now, and play later. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say that. Three, exercise, you know, eat healthy. You you won't even understand how, how much better you feel and how much it changes your life once you start eating and, you know what I'm saying, working out every day, bro. It changes you, especially when you see a change after a few months, like three to four months, you're going to see a change. Every day, getting up, working out hard. You don't even have to be hard. You can just go there, 
drink water every day and work out every day, bro, I lost 40 pounds within seven months. 40 pounds within seven months. I was a, I was a boomer. <laughs> you know, to me, that I had gained 240. I was 240, 247. And yeah, now I'm like one, 200. Now I'm like 200. So I was like 247. I'm 200 now, you know, pushing 202, 200. And you know what I'm saying? It feels good, bro. Especially to achieve that within a short amount of time like that. Like seven months may seem long to a lot of people, but it's really not. Like I lost a lot of weight. I'm probably even lower than 200. I haven't checked myself on the scale yet because, you know what I'm saying? But yes, yeah, definitely eating healthier, eating healthier, healthier, um, working out, um, meditating like bro and i haven't started meditating yet but i'm trying to get into it it's just it's kind of it's i don't know man i don't know what it is about meditating it's just you do it and it just feels like nothing's getting I, like i don't like to do stuff i don't feel like anything's getting out of it so i don't want to start something that that's not going to lead me somewhere so i just feel like it's not getting, but i have to you know just do more research on it see what you know what i'm saying what i'm really doing when i'm meditating sitting here you know just in the spirit in the moment you know what i'm saying meditating you know how it benefit how i benefit for i'm not saying that do every do something to always benefit from it, but do something to you know and get something out of it. Don't just do nothing for no reason. I've never been a person like that. Hopefully you're not gonna be like that. You know what I'm saying? Watching my videos, you will get a lot of knowledge on things and how I feel about certain things, my way of seeing things, and you know what I'm saying, just me trying to help you out. So the fourth and last, say affirmations, you know what I'm saying, and love yourself. I learned this from a book that I read, basically, and a guy was saying how he was going through a terrible time, like it was a depression. I wish I could find that book, man, but it was online. And it was a book that you can read in a day. It was like 70, 80 some pages. It was great. And he basically was just going through depression. He, you know, he didn't know, he didn't feel like nothing, his life wouldn't work out. He just felt like everything was just falling apart. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just no one loved him. And he said, he told himself every day, Anytime he could think, every thought that he had after that was, I love myself. I love myself. I love. He said he lost himself in saying that he loved himself. Literally all day, I love myself. I love. That's all he thought about. Every thought he had was, I love myself. He's in the shower. He's saying, I love myself. He's doing this. He's saying, I love myself. He said for a while, he just started getting manifestations. He started feeling better, and he just felt loved. And he just, you know what I'm saying? Everything started coming to him. Like, he said anything he ever wanted it just started coming and you know what i'm saying now he's saying he's super successful also he made the book trying to help other people and he was like this is a way to help you know with depression this is a way to fight it so affirmations i have affirmations that i look at every day i repeat them it literally says on a whiteboard right here you know and i have my own i'm not going to share them but basically like i'm happy i love myself i will have everything i want you know little things like that or you know what i'm saying i will be closer to god you know whatever you want you know what i'm saying it can be financial it can be spiritual it can be whatever you want but Basically, affirmations and telling yourself you love yourself, man, that's going to keep you focused on your goals. So whatever your goals are, write affirmations about those goals. You know what I'm saying? And say those every day. I will get this. I will be a millionaire. I will be this by this time. I will have this. I will, you know what I'm saying, be my best. self. I will be a leader, I will take care of, you know, whatever. I, you know, anything that you want to do, anything you want to be or anything you want to stop, I will get done, like finished. Like, I will not do this anymore. I will stop doing this, you know what I'm saying? I will stop procrastinating. I will stop, you know what I'm saying? Just anything that you want, you know what I'm saying, that can benefit, that you're going to have a better life from, just put those down on your affirmation or write a vision board, you know? But that's another thing. But, guys, this is this is it, man. I'm happy I was able to tell people this, man. I hope you guys learned something out of this video, man. And just write something in the comments if you're, you know, if you're watching this right now, like, I'm really going to start posting, you know, three to four videos a day about this or even more. And um, about stuff like this, you know, just trying to help people out and get into my mind because I'm already doing this for myself. So, you know, what I'm saying it's just a matter of time for me, but I definitely want to help people. I've always wanted to do that and just be a voice for people, you know, to listen to me, you know, and, you know, everything's going to be all right. You know, we don't have to be you don't have to be sad all day. You don't have to, you know, life beats up on you, but we're going to smile at life when it beats on us. Smile. That's the hardest. That's a, you have to be a strong person to smile when life is beating on you. And that's the way to go about things, you know what I'm saying? There's no better way. It's going to happen regardless, you know what I'm saying? We're going to die regardless, no matter what, if we like it or not. Smile about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not saying smile about dying, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to happen regardless, so you might as well go out in a, in a happier way. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's it, guys. I hope you guys like this video, man. We out. Until the next video, man. I love you guys, man. And peace, man. Until the next one.